Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a closer look what happens when we multiply and one of the numbers is zero. And then also there are certain situations in algebra where the concept of multiplying by zero is actually a very important concept. I'm going to see a simple example of that. So first of all, what happens when we multiply numbers and one of them is zero? The result is always zero, no exceptions. So here we can say the result is always zero. So 2 times 0, well, that's equal to 0. x plus y times 0, well, that's equal to 0. How about x squared plus 4x times 0? That is equal to 0. How about if I have a whole bunch of numbers, positive and negative numbers, but one of them is 0? 45 times negative 20 times 0 times 5, it is still 0. Even when the numbers are huge, and I remember when I was in 6th grade, our teacher put something like that on the test. Lots of big numbers that we have to multiply together, and that's, of course, before we had calculators. But one of them was a zero. So the obvious answer, doesn't matter. Don't need a calculator. Don't need to work anything out. The result is simply zero. So whenever you're multiplying numbers together, and at least one of them is zero, the answer will always be zero. And so now let's apply that to an algebraic concept. What if we have the quantity x plus 5 multiplied times the quantity x minus 4, and we know that it's equal to zero. When we multiply two numbers together and the result is zero, that means one of the two must be a zero. That means either x plus five must equal zero or x minus four must equal zero. They can obviously not together be equal to zero because when x takes on a certain value, x plus five and x minus four cannot be the same number. So therefore, it's either that x plus five is equal to zero or x minus four is equal to zero. If that's true, we can then conclude, when we bring the 5 to the other side, that x must e either equal a negative 5 or x must equal a positive 4. So that all comes from the concept that when you multiply two numbers together and the result is 0, that the one number must equal 0 or the other number must equal 0. x plus 5 or x minus 4 must equal 0, which therefore we can conclude that x must be negative 5 or x must be equal to 4. And again, that's all about multiplying by zero and the significance of that concept. And that's how we use it in algebra as well as multiplying numbers together.